go. Wings are some of the easiest things you can do and some of the hardest things to mess up when it comes to barbecue. The big game is next week. Last week we did the Philly Cheese Steak Stromboli, which go back and watch that because that turned out amazing. But today we are going to make the best, and I'm, I'm, I'm serious when I say this, absolutely the best wings you have ever had thanks to some Cosmo Q flavor and we're gonna be firing up our barbecue Kamado Go tailgate grill right here already smoking ready to go But when you type in wings in the search bar on YouTube or Google or wherever you're looking, you're going to see a lot of them. Everybody has opinions on wings and opinions are like assholes. So today, I'm going to show you my asshole. I'm going to show you my opinion on barbecue wings today. Now this portable grill comes with a temperature control system. There's no external thermometer, but we're running this about 300 degrees. There are four spade dampers on each side and set at the setting that I have it at. It's gonna bring it up to about 300 degrees. We don't have a huge load of charcoal in there, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna make them uh, cook quick. And we're looking for crispy skin, not rubbery. We're looking for a little bit of smoke taste. That's why we're going with the lump charcoal. So let's go inside and take a look at the wings that we have and get them prepped and ready. These are the wings. I went ahead and separated them. I cut off the tip and I separated the drumettes from the flats here. And we're just gonna do a little bit of pre-seasoning. Now, before you do anything, you wanna make sure that you pat them dry. Moisture is the enemy when it comes to wings, especially when you're smoking wings. And we wanna make sure that we pat it down, get all that moisture out of there because if you have moisture in there, it's gonna have that rubbery texture to it. It's definitely not what you want. So first thing we're gonna do, since we've already patted them dry, is add a little Cosmo Q SPG, and we're just gonna use this as a light base. You don't have to go crazy with it, but hey, do what you want. Flip it over and make sure to hit both sides to get maximum flavor. Next layer of flavor is gonna be some Sriracha Dirty Bird. We're just going with a little bit of a light one on this one. You just wanna get a little bit of color with that. We'll hit both sides with this, and then we'll take these outside and throw them on the smoker. Once we're done cooking these wings, we're going for an internal temp of 165. We're gonna be blasting them with three different flavors, not all together, but we're gonna be using three different flavors of the Cosmo Q's wing dust. We have the lemon pepper wing dust, we have the hot buffalo, and we have the honey barbecue. And we're gonna be topping it off with some barbecue sauce as well, tossing it in that. It's gonna be really good. Let's get these wings on the grill. You wanna make sure that you spray the grates down because this can stick really easily. But we're again, we're just throwing these on, smoking them to an internal temp of 165, and then we're gonna rotate them and make sure we get even cooking throughout. This is a really simple recipe. I picked these uh, wings up at Publix. You can pick them up at any grocery store you got. And then we're gonna close the lid and let them cook for about 10 minutes or so. Again, remember this is running at 300, so they're gonna cook pretty fast, but we just wanna make sure that we get even coating and cooking throughout. I think I said in my last uh, segment there that we were gonna let them cook about 10 minutes. We're just gonna go ahead and rotate them now though. Like I said, these things are cooking fast. So let's take a look here, get a close up real quick. We'll try this one right here. See, we already got some good crisp skin developing right over the live coals there. See, a little hotter on some than others. So we'll continue to do this just to make sure we get even cooking throughout. Oh yeah, and we'll see you in a few minutes here. So we've been letting them sit a few more minutes. Look at these beauties. Perfect color. That is gonna taste really good. So we're gonna put them in a pan 
and we're gonna take them inside and flavor them up with some of that Cosmo Q wing dust. So here we have the three flavors, lemon pepper, hot buffalo, and honey barbecue. We have our two sauces that we're gonna be using. We have our apple chipotle and our honey jalapeno. I'm also going to try to coat some hot honey on some of these wings, probably with the buffalo, and uh, let it stick a little bit more. We're gonna get messy today, it's gonna be great. Like I said, everybody has an opinion on these. Let's check out my opinion on these. I'm just gonna start taking these and putting them in like so. And we're just gonna kind of split them evenly amongst them so that we can get even taste. We got our lemon pepper. This is the first time we've used it. Just coat that baby just like that. Toss it around. Use a little bit more. Make sure you roll it around like that just to get all the little bits and pieces on there. And you can start to see the lemon pepper really coming out. Onto the buffalo. But like I said, I'm gonna do something a little crazy. We got our hot honey here from Oak Hill Farms and I'm just gonna drizzle that on there like that. Open our hot buffalo. Ooh, looks like flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> awesome. So we're gonna dump that in there like so, get a good bit. Let's toss. See those have a nice good coating on them here. And then finally, honey barbecue, which I know you'll probably like, won't you? Probably. Yeah. And that just looks like regular Cheetos. So I haven't tried any of these, so I'm sure they're gonna be good. I just have no idea how they're going to taste. Because last time I did a wing video, I think it was right after I had left Char Griller. And um, man, aren't we glad we left them because we have such great companies like Kamado Joe and Masterbuilt Pit Barrel. And of course, the flavor. Every video is brought to you by Cosmo Q. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit here. We're gonna lay it down and I'm gonna pour some of our uh, great barbecue sauces on top of it. And then we're gonna taste them. I said I was gonna clean up, I lied. I just laid down parchment paper and dumped them out on top, which is okay. So we're going to drizzle a little more hot honey over the buffalo here, just like that. Nice and sticky. Now, the sexy slow-mo pour. We have the honey barbecue covered in some apple chipotle. I'm gonna douse this, look how thick that is, with the hot honey and the honey jalapeno sauce. Yo, that looks good. We're gonna leave the lemon pepper dry and try that and see how it goes. But this is it. Simple for the big game, something so easy where all you gotta do, throw that grill up to 300 degrees, some SPG as a base, you can add more flavor, add in the Sriracha Dirty Bird, then you're gonna use the wing dust and some barbecue sauce, or you can eat them dry, whatever you like. But I'm gonna dive in here. Actually, I'm gonna grab a flat. I'm a flat guy. We got the sauce. We got the hot buffalo or flaming Cheeto, whatever you wanna call it. Dive right in. Mm. That's got a little kick to it, but look at that cook to perfection. That has a lot of kick to it. Woo. <laughs> and the thing, I was gonna do the ghost pepper. Holy crap. The sauce or the dust? Hmm, I'm honestly not sure. And we're done. Let's try that again. And we're done. There we go. That's amazing. The flavor's really good. There's a lot of heat on top of that. I'm gonna drink some milk. <laughs> I'm a pansy. That is really good though. Uh, let's try, I'm gonna get some water, <laughs> it's burning. Woo! If you like hot, that hot buffalo is good. Ooh, I'll be right back. <laughs> I 
Oh, film. Yep. Woo! That thing packs a punch. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna show you my hole, but I can tell you mine's tied up tighter than a balloon knot right now. Oh! Let's go for something a little softer. Honey barbecue with the apple chipotle. This should be really nice. Anything fruity like this, like apple, and goes perfect with chicken, poultry, anything like that. So here goes flat number two. Again, cooked to perfection. The flavor on this is amazing. That's hot as crap. I've seen some people where they can like want to throat it. I can't do that. The flavor on this is really, really good. It's sweet. Not really much heat to it, but really good. And finally, we got the dry lemon pepper, which sadly I have some of the... <laughs> I was taking a picture of these for my thumbnail for my video. And I got some of the hot buffalo on there. Holy Lord, I still feel it. Okay, lemon pepper. Here we go. Mm-hmm. That's really lemony. You can taste a lot of the pepper. I think it would be better with a little sauce on it personally. I would be right. This is delicious though. And these are simple recipes. You don't have to use three different ones unless you're hosting a huge party. I spent, I don't know, $11 on wings. All the stuff from Cosmo Q and Oak Hill Farms for the hot honey. This was some banging flavor that's really gonna make your big game up to the next level. I'm gonna down some more of these. Probably not so much of these because I'm gonna be sitting on the toilet later. But these are really, really good. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. You eat well, you do well. We'll see you next time. That's good.